Welcome everyone to episode 1 of Let's Play NBA 2K13, My Career. Uh, this will be a long going series where I create a My Player and we progress through his career. So we shall do the creation first. Uh, I've already chosen a name, Joe Harrison. I figured I'd go something simple. Um, hopefully the announcers actually say it. And now we just gotta pick a nickname in case they don't. I don't know, these nicknames are so bad. Uh, we'll just do Rain Man, I guess. Uh, I think we're gonna do a shooting guard. We're gonna do all around. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll just choose some random month. And I'll make him kind of young. Go 13, ball handler, uh, isolation. Yeah, 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 okay. Actually, yeah, yeah. 6'5, six, 6'9. Six, I don't want we don't want him to be 6. We'll make him 6'6. 6'6, six, six. Six, six, 223. Do you want a headband? Sure. I don't really care about anything else. All around shooting guard. change anything. Uh, we will change this though. Thing here, and we'll immediately jump into the rookie showcase. Where we live or die by our ability to shoot the ball. From UNC Greensboro. Yeah, what the hell? Welcome and thanks for joining us for the NBA Rookie Showcase alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Harlan. Tonight, Clark, we're going to watch some right. of the top young talent face off in anticipation of the NBA draft. And because that's the case, Kevin, no shortage of GMs and front office execs here in the building, representatives from every NBA team on hand to check this action out. And that could obviously put a lot of pressure Assist on already. Guys, but of course, Performing when there is pressure is a big part of what they're hoping to be paid to do. So uh, we'll get a chance here today to see who rises to the top. Now a look at the stars starting lineup. Thomas Robinson is out there with Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Ugh. Then it's Jeremy Lamb. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Zeller in at the five down low. And for the elites, Harrison in at shooting guard. Andre Drummond is out there. Oh, with he blew right by me. Wow. Did That's so stupid. That? Oh, we got to see that one again, guys. We've got to see that yeah, again. I, I All right. I, I, I'm not sure what I just looked at. Sophomore Jeremy Lamb out of UConn. Oh. Long athletic shooting guard with a nice Bam. jump shot in him. Okay. For some reason, it's not showing shot feedback. It's really annoying. Seven foot wingspan, you know, those gyms always are looking for guys so we'll turn that on. Jeez, they missed it too. To Good lord, people. At the defensive end of the floor. And for Jeremy Lamb, a very nice ball handler, Steve, for a player of his size. Yeah, he's good at changing speed. Uh, he's got a nice in between game, floaters, pull ups. Uh, he can mix it up with some hard moves to the rim. I think the biggest question mark with Lamb is just his overall strength and 
Can he get where he needs to go on the court? Oh, no. No. Jeez. Lamb's got five. Now we're getting used to seeing him hit those shots, aren't we? Here's Rain Man. Let's the free fly. And that there one's we good. go. What a quick Terrible shot. Give up a three, get a three. They're a pretty resilient team. I'll give them that. you got to respect them for coming back that way. And this game, for the players, an exciting moment. That's right, Clark. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't get a lot of attention outside Ugh. of this gym. But for these young men, the importance of these games oh my is God. absolutely enormous. His ticket to the NBA is his great scoring ability. He's putting it on display, guys. We're getting buckets right and left. Inside, Davis. Come on, Davis. And Drummond kicks to Marshall. Shoots over Lillard. No good. Freaking Kendall Marshall. Stars take it the other way. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Gives him the lead pass. And Tyler Zeller on the bucket on the really assist. Really just going to leave him wide open, guys. Yes, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. A three ball. That's good. Yeah, punk. Rain Man's got six. And, you know, when you talk about this showcase game, the question is always, how much should GMs weigh this single game? Oh, jeez. How do you... I, I don't even know how to stop the that. Entire body of work so is silly. You can't, as a scout or GM, you can't let one game really determine uh, your opinion of a player. Feeds to Marshall. He feeds it to Barnes. Bad call. Shot clock at six. No, Barnes. Gets oh, it to go. Okay. Good shot. Barnes has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The dish to land. He does do that for Golden State a lot. He dishes it to Robinson. Over Harrison. Oh my he god. Really? In. Drummond's got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Rain Man. From about 16, Robinson Good Lord, pulls it in. how long do I have to hold this? Now, here's Lillard. Not a lot of room. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Lillard. There's the pass to Lamb. Over Harrison. Get the hell out of here with that. Lamb. The elite's leading. Barnes with it. Really, Barnes? Barnes? Him up, leans inside, Jesus. Out of bounds as the stars <laughs> yeah. Possession. Yay, Players dumb computer. All right. Take us out for a minute or two and put us back in. Back at shooting guard. Get out of my way. We've got 155 left to play in the first. Team left side. He passes to Kid Gilchrist. Passes it through Leonard. Six to shoot. Kicks it to Lillard. The high post shot. And he gets the to drop. Tell you what, he's making a statement. To none. Hold on. I guess you can't change that here, can you? No, you can't. Okay. Well, he's Never highly mind. regarded, and, and rightly so. I mean, you can just see the Never potential. mind. Waiters with the ball. There's a screen. Here's Rain Man. Good as the jump shot falls. Rain Man's got eight points. Lillard with it. And there's the feed to Kid Gilchrist. To the inside. Here's Leonard. Another shot. And Harkless pulls it down. Harkless has got his third rebound tonight. Here's Rain Man. Fires for three. And again, Boom. he leads with a three. You know what? I've got to admit it. I mean, I've been pleasantly surprised with how well this kid's been playing. Well, not a guy penciled in among those top picks in the draft, but he's certainly been right at the top of his form in this game. The Stars shooting their first free throws of the game. Free throw, good team. No good on the second free throw. And you know, 
Terrence Jones, a sophomore out of Kentucky, guys, is really a versatile 6'8 combination forward. He's a bit of a tweener. <laughs> He's got Jeez. the skills of a small forward and may not necessarily have the size of a power forward, but with a 7'2 wingspan and going about 250 pounds, he'll probably end up spending most of his time playing at the power forward position. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Here's Kid Gilchrist, and it's blocked. Bam! And that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Hodges Rome for that one. <laughs> Suck it, buddy. Seventeen seconds left in the first quarter. Zeller with the lead pass. Leonard. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. Yeah, that was a foul on me, but can't let him do that. To get all the way to the rim, so actually a pretty good play to foul him and make him shoot free throws. And then no choice really but to foul and stop the dunk. Don't let that happen. He hits both from the strike. Now here's Waiters. He's got six. Softly drops in the floor. Good job. Dion Waiters. Waiters got eight. Beautiful there. They're trying to pull away. Well, with smart basketball, trying to. little by little, they're building on their lead here. Oh, uh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. All right. Take me out for it's a little bit. To see all the best and the brightest young prospects in one place. Going at it five on five. Yeah, there's only so much you can really gather from shooting drills and running through cones. Nothing beats the real thing, that's for sure. Here's Teague. The elites pull it in. Harkless has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. On the court right now for the Stars. Damian Lillard out there with Marcus Teague. Then there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Then there's Myers Leonard. And it's Zeller in the power forward position. Oh, well, pass to assist. Got a Gretzky. He's managing to do what everyone hopes to do, and that's really demonstrate his talent. Yeah, it's been a good showing for him. A lot of pressure in a game like this, but it seems to have brought out the best in him. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Freaking crap! Points in the oh, damn the teammates get in my way. Retarded. Well, they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. No. Here's Drummond, and easy two points on the layup. You know, as tight as this game is, you have to like their chances the way they've been rebounding. They have a pretty good margin in that department, so they've got to continue. Andre Drummond with the rebound. Oh. For him in the end. Oh, how's that not? Teague, the pass to Lillard. That shouldn't have been a backcourt violation. Zeller setting the pick for Lillard. Back to T. Ah. Back to Leonard. Five to shoot. To the paint. Zeller. Oh. No. North Carolina senior Tyler Zeller, a skilled John Henson with the foul. Player, can really run the floor. Uh, he's not an explosive athlete, but he's active. And as he continues to add strength, I think this young guy has a chance to be a, a, a very good starting center in the NBA. Jones checked in for the elites. Well, going back to Zeller and his draft prospects, size does have a way of rising around drafting. And you factor in his talent along with the size and his ability Bam. to run the floor. You can see where that was a terrible shot. Is well for some reason, it didn't do what it normally does. Or I fake him in. Oh. No. That should have been a steal. T kicks to Zeller. To oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, and so that close. One ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. <sighs> just five to shoot. Takes it from ten. I think he's just got to compose himself, gather himself. He may be trying a little too hard out there. Let it flow, let it happen. Don't force it. Marshall gets a screen from Drummond. Lobs it up. Oh, he missed. missed. No. That would have been a nice alley oop there. Well, you gotta love the effort though. Almost showtime. Here's Kid Gilchrist, and once again off the mark by the Stars. The elites leading by five. Here's Rain Man from downtown. Oh, no, too far away. By Kid Gilchrist. Dang it. Kid Gilchrist no. got his fifth rebound right now in the game. T can't hit. 
Boy, he's really been active on the glass. And a nice bonus from him. I mean, if he can rebound Damn, straight like to the hole. In the NBA, oh, Drummond with the big jam. Rough and rugged down there in the low post. Drummond's the man. Hard rebounds, hard finishes, up high and down on. And he never stops working. That's what I really appreciate about him, guys. Barnes is checked in for Jones. And Lillard kicks to Kid Gilchrist. It's rebounded by the elites. You see the defense saw that coming way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Here's Trump. Oh, oh. <laughs> Drummond with a nasty kid. dunk. That's, that's how you do it. Yep. No, nothing fancy, but we finished with force. Lillard dishes the team. Leonard covered by Barnes. Leonard kicks to Zeller. Dishes to Lillard. He kicks it to T. Buries oh my God! Teague's got Good shot by T. He's a guy that will take it right into the teeth of the defense. A lot of his points come from inside of five feet. From the arc. How is that too early? Now the stars Good take Lord! It the other way. Feeds it to Lillard. In case anyone doesn't know, what I'm talking about is. Each shot has a an individual point at which is the maximum length, maximum time that you want to hold the ball until you shoot it. Oh. I could have swore. Ooh. Could have swore that the shot setup that I chose uh, wasn't so long. I'm going to have to change that. So we're winning by 8. I have 13. Defense needs to be better. Oh, with some steals. Yeah, okay. I'm trying. They keep bouncing right back to them. Well, an exciting first half of basketball oh. now in the books. Yeah, they're really putting on a show and rising to the occasion so far. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Wow, really? For the second half of basketball. And so in the game for the elites. Harrison. Good shot, Drummond. Anthony Davis is out there with Andre Drummond. And it's Kendall Marshall. And it's Barnes and it's small forward. Good shot, Drummond. I guess I'm just not as much of a three-point shooter as I thought I was. That's okay, though. Ooh, bitch. Yeah, and a foul. And one. Where's and one? Attacking the paint again and again. I got destroyed. They're getting whatever they want. I mean, eight straight points coming inside. He feeds it to Lamb. Here's the dish to Lillard. Zeller setting the pick for Lillard. He dishes it to Lillard. Ah. Oh. No good. Now the elites take it the other Come way. Come on, guys. Boy, that kind of hustle you just love to see. And it gets his teammates fired up. Yeah, especially with the powerful slam to finish things off. Oh, so no. The, board. the Stars trail by eight. What, that was terrible. Might be the most oh, so close. Prospect in the draft from a physical perspective. 6'11, 275 pounds, and he can really get off his feet. Get the hell out of here with that. No, terrible pass. He took so long to throw it to me. And you left him wide open. At least he missed it. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert, he's got to take that every time. And you know, going back to Andre Drummond, guys, you know, it's really interesting that he wasn't always as dominant at UConn as his talent might suggest, but still, you know, with his terrible turnover, size, Drummond. Terrible turnover. Terrible turnover. Now, here's Lillard. Ten points for him. The pass to Kid Gilchrist. Over Barnes. Elites with the rebound. Rain Man's got his third rebound tonight. Plenty of pressure in a game like this to impress. He has it. Now the pressure might be getting to him, but you know everybody's in the same boat here. Now here's uh. he's tightly guarded. 
Damn, Drummond. The way he searched for good shots all game long. The Stars trail by 10, and Lillard kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Passes it to Zeller. Kicks it to Lamb. You know, we see so many great players coming into the league from other countries now. How are you going to? The NBA has really been quite proactive, making huge strides Idiot. Foul him. Game internationally. Going back to what Clark was just talking about. You know, it's a... Jeez. I mean, that small forward. What Here the heck? Ross, looking for his first bucket of the game. The feed to Waiters. Shoots over Lillard. Puts it up. And Drummond throws it down. Drummond's still on a damn offensive rebound. He's going to eat you up on the offensive board. Put a hole. And Lillard kicks to Robinson. That one goes. Why am I against? points have come inside the paint so defensively you've got to I'm against the freaking power forward people you gotta do a little more to stop it too I mean it's coming way too easy for him at some points you just gotta buck up and say it's not gonna happen Robinson pulls it in the stars trail by eight and Lillard kicks to Kid Gilchrist and he finishes nicely oh and they call a foul Kid you gotta be kidding me you know, when you talk about size and explosiveness, this guy's definitely got the good. And that's part of why he's so highly regarded. I mean, he can make plays that other people simply can't. Well, you talk about a guy who battles on every possession. I mean, he's definitely a guy I think of. How many times have we seen him go way out of his way to try to make a play? Yeah, I like the way he freely gives up his body to make a winning play, to make a play that helps his team. That speaks what? to me. Wow. Wow. Well, seems a little further along defensively than I expected. And you know, rookies who can defend are, are very oh, rare. Oh, I'm somebody. Wow. You let him get to the rim, and that's exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. Oh, you deserve that. And he's more than capable. You're right, Clark, of providing some great highlight real material. Yes, sir. And for a point guard to finish like that. I mean, that is just special. The Stars making a switch here. Lambs checked in. And you know, there was a time when it might have been hard to get all the top. And of course, my dude is wide freaking open. Yeah, Good lord. What the hell is wrong with you people? It's really such a treat to see these young players come out and compete. It's been a pretty tough stretch for them. Well, this is a really critical possession here, Kevin. It's essential that they put a stop to this run. To the middle. Using his post God, give me the freaking ball already, you blind bastard. A great showing for him today. Well, you know, we talked about where he's projected to go in the draft, but with performances like this, I mean, he could be on the rise. Pass to Robinson. He kicks it to Kid Gilchrist. Why? Here's Zeller. Back to Robinson. Why it am I against freaking power forwards? I should not be against power forwards, people. Fifteen points in the game. Out of yeah, the front of the good get him. Such a careless pass. Yes. Got to keep your head in the game here. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. And here is Waiters. He's got 12. Here's Rain Man. No. Rebound by the Stars. Robinson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Lamb with the ball, and it's Waiters picking him up. Down low, this is to Kid Gilchrist for the lead. The elites pull it in. Bottle hole better not make Ross that. Has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He's laboring out there right now, guys. The shot has not been falling for him this quarter. And it's good. Seven seconds left in the third. It's up a three that misses would have kind of had it gone in. All right. The points coming in bunches as we ramp up the third. We got this. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite, Sprite uncontainable, uncontainable game. game. Doris? Well, Cavs, the elites have had the <laughs> uncontainable game in this one. Things have been going their way through the first three quarters, and with the way they've Splash. executed, there is no reason to think it won't continue on. Thanks a lot, Doris. 
All right. Extended our lead by six more. Up to 11. And Marshall kicks to Harkless. What kind of screwed up pass is that? There's the triple. That's good. Good lord. Barnes has got six here in this quarter. Six points in short order. Two straight from deep. That's what can happen with that three ball. Yep, yep. they got it going. Nice clean looks. On the floor for the Stars. Thomas Robinson is out there with Tyler Zeller. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then it's Jeremy Lamb. And it's Kid Gilchrist in at the three shot. They get it back. Robinson. Oh, nice. Marshall passes to Barnes. Oh. Beautiful. And it has been I'll watch that again. On their part. Yeah, yeah. They put the parking brake on at all. They're continuing to go full throttle and pile up the points. Lillard with it. Puts up the runner. Oh my hits. god. Well, that's his shot. He is really proficient from that mid range. The elites leading by 14. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Feeds it to Marshall. The dish to Harkless. That's tipped. Kid oh Kipper's my god. And Lamb with a clear path to the hoop. The pass break ends at and the a foul. The jam. It wasn't bad defense. I mean, really? But he got overpowered. It's not enough strength to stop him. You know, sometimes Good Lord. you try to avoid the foul, Clark, and not get in the way. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no question. You guys are right. I mean, he seemed to think better of it and then backed off a little bit at the end. Inside, Davis dishes to Marshall. Here's Rain Man. He feeds it to Marshall. Davis setting the pick for Marshall. Six on the shot clock. Oh, communication between the pass. What a pretty pass! Yeah, the timing. Wow. Were spot on. You're right. Yeah, with just a smooth. That was a pretty pass. The stars trail by smooth. Mm -mm -mm. And Lillard gets to Lamb. Shoots it. Elites with the rebound. At one point, they led by 16. Well, they say control the glass, control the game. They're definitely controlling the glass. Yeah, I agree with that. Dang. That's been the case here tonight. Big lead they're enjoying on the glass. Here's Kid Gilchrist. They retain possession. And Lillard's wide open. Robinson kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Lamb passes to Robinson. He dishes it to Lillard. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Now the pass to Lamb. And three chances Get on that the possession, heck out of here. They just couldn't find a way to score. You look around the gym, uh, a lot of movers and shakers in attendance. <laughs> yeah, you sure are. And if you want to be seen by an NBA front office, this is the place to be. It's just one game, and you've got their full attention. The eight footer. He hangs in on the second chance points. Wow. 12 points for Tyler Zeller. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. I'll take that. I keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Well, over the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Stars was trying to get across in their huddle. He doesn't think they've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebounds to every loose ball. we got to wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see Ooh. if he lit a fire under him, guys. Now, here's Marshall. Defense right on him to the inside. It's rebounded by Kid nah. Gilchrist. Kid Gilchrist has got rebound number eight now on the night. I think he's been fighting his shot a little bit. He's not getting many of them to drop right now. Nobody picked him up. Nobody picks him up. This game. Well, we've seen it, they just let him run right past him. The, rim. the elites leading by 11. Here's Rain Man, Marshall. He lays it in. Damn it. You can see the strategy has been to take the ball inside here. That's where you get high percentage looks and draw fouls, Steve, and it's a good way to play. Now, here's Lillard. 
Passes to Lamb. Puts it up from 15. Ugh. That is good. Lamb's got five points now in the quarter. Here's Marshall. And what a great job he's doing as a playmaker out there, Clark. Well, he's got nine dimes now working on double digits. That's um, oh my god, uh, it's a joy really? To watch a player like this who, who's getting his teammates involved and, and really creating the flow. Of the Terrible, game. not stop. There's no way to stop that. I mean, there's nothing you can do when he's coming at him like that. Well, that's right, Clark. Uh, Steve, he is a dangerous, dangerous player, yeah, especially when he gets to that launching pad right there in the lane. I mean, a uh, pretty one handed finish. That was nice. He's short for the center position, but he makes up for it with tremendous leaping ability. 151 left in the game. God, he just does so many. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. I wish I could run plays. That would be nice. I think he's done his part to try to keep him in this game. It's been a solid effort from him, guys. Marshall with it. Lillard picks him up. Now Marshall. Barnes kicks to Marshall. Here's Rain Man. Drains Get the, the hell in there. 24 points for him. Here's Lily. Kicks to Lamb. From about 16, Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got six rebounds in the game. Quick move inside. Marshall dishes to Barnes. And so Good lord. The line. <laughs> saw the contact and he'll shoot too. Yeah, friggin' nice murdered. 12 points. The nine of his points have come from the three point line. Yeah, Clark, he's got a very confident stroke going right now. You know, Harrison Barnes could have been a top five pick back in the 2011 draft, but he's decided to return to North Carolina for his sophomore season. Was hoping to win a national championship with the Tar Heels. Come on! So stupid. Really kind of Ugh. Their plans, but uh, still a solid career in North Carolina for Harrison Barnes. One oh two left in the fourth quarter. Cool. Let's turn the freaking ball over again. Here's Lillard. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Idiot. And so, here are the elites. At one point, they led by 16. To the middle, here's Rain Man. Off the mark I mean, step back, Johnny. what do you expect me to do with Harrison this shit? Barnes, as you mentioned, Steve, a nice college career. Back in high school in Iowa, he was drawing comparisons to Kobe Bryant. And I don't think, obviously, he met a quite with those expectations in his short time in Chapel Hill. Well, Kevin, that's a that's an unfortunate comparison. Anybody putting a college player's name in the same breath as Kobe Bryant. That being said, Barnes has a chance to be pretty good with his size and skill. Not much drama left in this one, guys. No, it hasn't quite exactly been a nail biter. I mean, it's going to be a great win for them, though. 15 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Willard. Dishes it to T. Gets it to go. Love the finish there. Not much defense, though. Here is Ross. T covering. Here's Rain Man. Fires from the line. <laughs> Drained it. <laughs> well, they are not exactly taking their foot off the gas just yet. No, they want to throw a little bit of whipped cream and some cherry on top of this one. So it's the elites winning this one easily. Well, it was a fun one, but the elites just had the better day. And they'll have a little bit of bragging rights here over the stars as the draft nears closer. And although this isn't a league game, you could tell each player out there wanted to win. I mean, no question about it, this was a competitive affair. And there was no shortage of action on either side of the ball. Thanks for joining us for this broadcast of the NBA Rookie Showcase. I'm Kevin Harlan for Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. We'll see you next time. All right, so that's uh, 
We got player of the game. Me? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 26 points. 50%, 50%. No turnovers. Nice. Plus minus of 11. I mean, unfortunately, Jeremy Lamb had 24. I mean, I just don't know, you know what to do about that, unfortunately. But two blocks. That's awesome. We shot 50%, 53%, 60%. Just had way more fast break points than we did. Ooh, excuse me. And but we killed them on the rebounds. Love it. And less turnovers. We got yeah. Biggest lead was sixteen. All right. Well. Come back next time to see where I get drafted. Well, first there'll be player interviews or team interviews, but from there we'll see where we get drafted. See you next time.